in the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. We are going to resume our series of the power transformer components. Today, we will talk about the tap changer. Why tap changer? Due to various loading conditions in power networks the consumer voltage will change out of the limits. To maintain the voltage in the right level, fixed turns ratio in power transformer will not help. Additional winding with taps will be added to offer variation in turns ratio in cooperation with tap changer and AVR relay. Windings arrangement. For three phase transformer, each phase will be on a limb or leg. Each limb will have from inside to outside, core, then low voltage winding, then high voltage winding, then high voltage tap winding, or called regulating winding, as we can see in the picture. Taps connections. As we can see in the picture, three limbs for the three phases, and cable going from HV tap winding to the tap changer taps. Tap changer types. We can classify tap changer from operation point of view to two different types. On load tap changer and off circuit tap changer. With on load tap changer, the tap changing can be done with transformer energized and loaded as it is provided with arc interrupting facility. In the other side, the off-circuit tap changer cannot do the same, so the transformer must be de-energized. In the OLTC, if arc interruption medium is oil, this type called oil tap changer, but if interruption medium is vacuum, so we called vacuum tap changer. The OLTC mostly used in power transformers, and with special customer requirements, additional OCTC will be used also. But OCTC mostly used in distribution transformers. The off-circuit tap changer. As in the picture, we can see row of 15 fixed tap, 5 taps per phase and sliding bar with three moving contacts, one per phase. Finally the three phases connected in one bus bar, and providing neutral point. As the tap changer in our example, is for star winding application. On load tap changer, I will start with OLTC oil type. I will select ABB oil tap changer model UBB as an example. The onload tap changer main parts. Fixed contacts, which is connected to the taps of the regulating winding. Moving contacts which will select the desired tap of the fixed contacts. Changeover selector and this selector used, in regulating winding reversing application, and in course fine application. And I will talk in details about these application in another video. Transition resistor, as tap changing sequences make before break, so 4 milliseconds to taps are shorted to maintain the load. Resistor used to limit the short circuit current in the two shorted taps. In these pictures, we can see the fixed contacts and the moving contacts. Drive spring, as tap changing, will happen in loading condition, and arcing will happen between the moving contacts and fixed contacts, so we need to minimize the arcing time, thanks to the drive spring which will to be charged then will be released, and will shift the moving contact from tap to another in few milliseconds. The tap changer take total time to change tap around 4.5 seconds, but this include drive spring charging time, plus few milliseconds for actual tap changing, plus mechanism normalizing time. Oil. Oil is used in the OLTC for insulation medium, lubrication for the moving parts inside the tap changer compartment, cooling for the tap changer, 
Arc interruption facility during tap changing. Moving contacts. Moving contacts including main current carrying contacts. Two transition contacts which will help in make before break sequence. Transition resistor which will limit the short circuit current during shorting to taps and tap changing sequence. Now, we will take example for how tap changing happen. The sequence of operation for the moving contacts. The tap is number 1, and we need to shift the moving contact to tap number 2. Stage 1. The moving contacts will start moving till transition contact get near to tap number 2. Arcing will happen between them. Stage 2. The transition contact reach tap number 2, make, and transition resistor will limit the short circuit current between both taps. Stage 3. The other transition contacts start leaving tap number 1, break, and arcing will happen with tap number 1. Stage 4. Finally the main contact reach tap number 2. Next. OLTC vacuum type. As we can see in the picture. OLTC vacuum type same OLTC oil type, but including vacuum interrupter capsule like vacuum circuit breaker. Very important note, the vacuum OLTC also have oil in the OLTC compartment, but the only difference. Arc will happen inside the vacuum capsule. In this picture, we can see moving contacts and vacuum interrupter capsule, white color part. Moving contacts, moving contacts include one transition contacts, not like oil tap changer type which have two transition contacts, transition resistor same before, main current carrying contacts same before. Vacuum interrupters capsules which will interrupt the arc during tap changing. OLTC vacuum type tap changing sequence. I will take ABB vacuum tap changer model VUBB as our example. Main contact on tap number 1, and need to go to tap number 2. Switching sequence, as we have here only one transition contact. So we have two assumptions. First assumption. Moving with resistor side first. Stage 1. Now continuous load through fixed contact number 1. Stage 2. Resistor auxiliary contact leaves the fixed contact number 1. Stage 3. Resistor vacuum interrupter opens. Stage 4. Resistor auxiliary contact enters fixed contact number 2. Stage 5. Resistor vacuum interrupter closes, causing a circulating current between the two shorted taps. Current will be limited by the transition resistor. Stage 6. Main vacuum interrupter opens, breaking the circulating current and commuting the load current to the resistor branch. Stage 7. Main auxiliary contact leaves fixed contact number 1. Stage 8. Main auxiliary contact enters fixed contact number 2. Stage 9. Main vacuum interrupter closes, commuting the load current to the main branch. Continuous load on fixed contact number 2. Now, main contact on tap number 2, and need to go tap number 1. Switching sequence, moving with main contact first. Stage 1. Now continuous load through fixed contact number 2. Stage 2. Main vacuum interrupter opens, breaking the load current, and by that commutes it to the resistor branch. Stage 3. Main auxiliary contact leaves fixed contact number 2. Stage 4. 
main auxiliary contact enters fixed contact number 1. Stage 5. Main vacuum interrupter closes. The load current commutes to the main branch, and a circulating current starts. Stage 6. Resistor vacuum interrupter opens, breaking the circulating current. Stage 7. Resistor auxiliary contact leads fixed contact number 2. Stage 8. Resistor vacuum interrupter closes. Stage 9. Resistor auxiliary contact enters fixed contact number 1. For more videos on the Vacuum OLTC, please watch the following videos on my channel. MROLTC Vacuum Type Function. A BBOLTC Vacuum Type Function. Regulating Winding Switching Types. This topic will be in my next video. And will be followed later by tap changer testing. Finally and not the end. Thank you for watching my video. Hope it meets your interest. This video prepared by me engineer Hanny Camel. For any suggestions or discussions. My contacts are shown. Do not forget. Subscribe my channel to get notification for next video.